Hello friends, my name is Max, and this is the fifth time I've tried to record this video. You're probably thinking, Max, if this is the fifth time you recorded the video, why even bother recording the video if you played through the game so many times already? Well, because I wanted to finish it so you guys can see the ending. Ow, I just hit my hand on the thing. But my recorder stopped recording, and then this thing happened, and then my life, and then... Uh, but there's only two parts left, so... I want you guys to see it and hear my thoughts about the game that I have and all this other cool s junk about it because it was really it's a really cool and interesting game. It really is. So let's get back into it. Oh, I gotta hear that irritating sound. You'll you'll see what I mean when I sing irritating sound. I do love the sound of this game. That sound. That sound is irritating. And last time I tried to record this, I was talking about how I really like the architecture and the use of the color teal in this game. Because it's really cool. Thank you. I don't know if it's just my inadequacy with games or the fact that this game can be so broken sometimes. Is that why it's called Broken Puppet? Ha! Ugh, I have a headache. Okay. Doot. Doot. Okay. What the hell? <gasps> Broken doll corpses! Little did she know that the energy sought me for the theater come from the ashes of her partners. This makes no sense. Cause like why so would you that's use why there were machines to destroy us? Why would you use the the things that you use to bring in money as fuel as well? Well, I guess that is one interesting way to make it do the thing. I guess. I love this. This is cool. Though, I feel like that would cut the strings versus actually playing with the strings. The clock had fallen and so it broke. Time passes for everyone. What is this clock doing here? Hmm. Somebody should throw it away. Okay, so the last few times I tried to play this part, the mechanic for the thing up there on the stage, I'll show you here in a second, is kind of on the broken side. And it won't work. So if I could bring something right here to stand on to get up here, I could get over there so I can show you guys what it's like behind the piano. But nothing seems to want to come over here. <sighs> oh. Wait, can I move this? No. Okay. So what you're supposed to do, that's unnecessarily large, is take this, hook it up to the ceiling, a few times, you're gonna need a few of them because in order to do it, you gotta use a few. And then you jump over here and then pull the strings and this thing will pop up. And, and it's like a time-based thing. But for whatever reason, when you, it's supposed to do it again because there's no way you have enough time to get over to the thing like you just saw me. And so, it's a little broken, like I s said before. I was able to do it the first time I was trying to record and play through it. But for whatever reason, it doesn't want to do it the second time. Because I get over here, but I don't have enough time to get into here. And I can't do this to open it because it just doesn't work. And the last time it did it, it 
allowed me to get to here and then had me wait a little bit and then it would do the thing again. But it just won't do the thing. So, and last time I tried this, Oh no, before and before that, because last time it just, I explained the situation again. But when I tried to do it, it, I sat here for almost 10 minutes waiting for the thing to happen and it just didn't do the thing like it did before. So what I did, I just went to the menu, went to the thing, because that's literally what's next after you get through the clock. Because if you try or try to go to the, this door, it would just be the clock again. I'm glad I'm not afraid of clowns, because that thing's fucking freaky. Gathering could already realize of the memory of the spotlight. The impatient murmur of the audience who await her epic entrance. She could picture the imposter torn apart by her treats. There she is. And cutscene. Huh? What are you doing here? Are you wow. here to help the stagehands? It's like I live here or something. Do you really think you have the right to, to come here and steal my show? Yes. Have you even seen yourself? Of course. Do you even think somebody would pay a penny to watch a broken puppet? Apparently you've never seen Dead Silence. For your disgrace. You've only got time to blame, sweetie. Get out of my sight. You have nothing to do on the stage. My dog just opened the door. Hold on, I'm gonna go close it. Just give me one, one second. It will be like quiet. Okay. Don't you see I'm talking here? So rude. Come on. Do you hear the people cheer? They cheer for me. I love your style, really. Though rocks are a bit demode, don't you think? I have to have my door closed. Don't you even realize Otherwise, your everyone who is like, Ow, you seen lives here in the will come into my room for whatever reason. Room? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Get wrecked. Do you hear that? If you don't go back to the basement, he will come for you. Time to air and regular this shit, yo. Get her! Get her! That thing is cool, though. I'm so Finish her! Alright, uh, so the first time I tried to play through this, I wasn't quite sure what I was supposed to do. And so I literally sat here for 20 minutes just throwing bombs at this Rip guy. Her head off. Will you see and you're supposed to use the shield to protect yourself from this move that he does. Which is really helpful. Because if you get hit or anything... Look, I'll show you. Yeah, see it does this really annoying slow motion thing. You're nothing but old scrap! And it takes forever for her to get up. And we need a bomb. We need a bomb. We need a bomb. We need a bomb. Take her with you! I love the sound effect that happens when he does this. You're already dead! The audience doesn't even remember you! I need a bomb, please. Uh -huh. Pull out the fear you have left. Oh, don't tell me that didn't count. Kill her! Kill her! Finish her! All right, so yeah, you're supposed to throw bombs and then take oh, this off. You. And now he's an arm. Rip her head off! Will you? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Get up! 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 Come on! Get up! Rip her apart! 
so <sighs> come back you're nothing but old <laughs> Get up, get up, get up. She takes so long to get up. There we go. No, not that. Don't be stubborn. Your time is over. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then that. No, please. You have no idea what you're doing. No. What have you done? You're completely I ripped his heart out. It would be funny if she said you were heartless. She got a little ahead of herself. Debris. Debris of what once was beautiful, and she had torn at her. She asked herself if she really wanted to go back. It didn't matter anymore. Her destructive wish was fully fulfilled. Okay, time for my opinion. This game is stunning. The colors and the architecture and Catherine is so cool. The way that she used the needles and the gameplay was really cool. But I just wish there was more to it. Like, this game could have been much longer and not as broken. And it would have been nice to have a save mechanic. So I remember that was a bit of an issue. But it was such a good game. If you want to play it, I'll put the link in the description below. And um, I had one more thought. Oh yeah, I really wish they could have played up the bad guy, the main big titan puppet thing that you had to fight as the boss. Or if it would have been way cooler if she turned into that thing or whatever, but either way, it was really cool. So um, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and thanks for playing with me. Bye!